Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's talk the talk. I'm your friend and your girl, Sonia. For those of y'all who are visiting for the first time, I make videos on fragrance reviews for men and women, DIYs, self-care and everything else in between. So the video that I have for you today is a beautiful fragrance that was released in 2001 from the house of Chanel. The nose behind this fragrance is Jacques Polge and this fragrance has been one of the best selling fragrances in the market since 2001 and till date. Most of the women who are into fragrances, they have this fragrance or they might have used this fragrance, okay? And I definitely am no exception. This fragrance is my second purchase. All right, so the fragrance I'm talking to you about is none other than Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum. This is a 100ml bottle that we are talking about. Now, what do I tell you about this fragrance? I had a decant of this fragrance years ago from one of my friends. I took some from my friend so that I could go ahead and try it. Those were my college days. I could not buy this fragrance, but I could only want to, you know, someday. So I tried that fragrance. I was absolutely in love with that fragrance and wanted to buy that fragrance for the longest time. And I did. I got a smaller bottle, I believe that was the 30ml bottle that I had, a very small teeny tiny miniature bottle, I believe that was 30ml, I don't even remember, this was back in 2008 that I had that small bottle, I used it, I wore it, I loved it, I rocked it. That definitely was my fragrance till that bottle lasted and now I I'm back with this fragrance. I want to wear this once again. I want to relive those Coco Mademoiselle moments once again. And hence, I am here with you with the review of this fragrance. I have absolutely many, many interesting things to tell you about this fragrance. How does it smell? What does it dry down like? What is the performance of this fragrance? And trust me, this is going to be absolutely right. Let's get started with the unboxing. I am going to unbox it right now, right here. So this is how the bottle looks like. If you see Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, so this is Coco Mademoiselle Chanel Paris or the Parfum, the quantity is mentioned right here. There is nothing here. There is nothing here. The logo of Chanel is right here. And this here is the information about this fragrance. The batch code is here as well for you to see. So this here, right here, if you could see. Let me see. Okay, so this here is the batch code and all the information is right here. Let's quickly go ahead and open this. Okay. The ingredients of the fragrance and you know there are many other information that is mentioned at the back that I forgot to show you. So there you go. My fingers do not support me, or rather my nails do not support me much. There we go. There we go. This is how this bottle looks like. It is a very simple bottle, just like, uh, you know, the packaging, if you see, it's a very simple packaging, not very fancy, you know, white and gold tone is what this packaging is all about. And so is the bottle it's a very simple gorgeous looking bottle the juice is pink if i'm not wrong the juice is pink again you have your coco mademoiselle chanel paris written right here and the batch code is right here at the back yep the batch code is right here 
and you have the information all here at the bottom so the cap of this fragrance is a translucent cap this is I believe this is a plastic cap but it's a very very good quality okay so if you see this is like a frosty frosty cap I, I I don't know I call it frosty or translucent whatever suits you and this has golden lines on it and yeah there is nothing much here on the atomizer there is nothing on the atomizer nothing written on the atomizer and nothing around the neck oops I kind of forgot uh, to show you right here on this cap if you see if you see this is the Chanel logo which is right here on this cap I believe you know it kind of goes uh, the camera is kind of going in and out of focus I believe since I'm you know shooting this at the same time so that is something that I wanted to show you okay so let's spray it oh my god I love the opening of this fragrance you guys it's citrusy the opening is a little fresh it's a little citrusy there is um, orange there is a note of orange that I can smell there is definitely rose in here there is jasmine in this fragrance there is a hint of patchouli in this fragrance but this patchouli is not a masculine patchouli that uh, you know that everyone talks about this is a very toned down version of patchouli note and its only job in here is to push the other notes up okay it's not there in the four play it's definitely not there for you to you know really really smell it's just there you know playing very well along with you know all the other fragrances there is vanilla there is a muskiness in this fragrance that i really really am loving oh my god this is kind of taking me back to my college days where you know i kind of you know tried this fragrance i borrowed it from my friend and i tried it beautiful days beautiful days you know 17 year old this fragrance yes uh you know uh this fragrance definitely doesn't restrict itself to an age group i did try it when i was 17 year old i loved it and even today when i'm in my 30s i still love this fragrance so this is a very versatile fragrance in terms of your age group you know you this fragrance doesn't restrict itself or you can't say that this is a mature fragrance or you know a very young fragrance you can pull it off this is for you all right and this definitely is very clean it's very luxurious now this fragrance is not your what do i say typical sexy fragrance this is not it okay this is not a sexy fragrance this is elegant this is a woman who is very sweet she is elegant she is classy she is sophisticated she walks like a quiet music there is a sweetness to this fragrance but this sweetness is not a gourmandish sweetness that we are talking about this sweetness comes from the white floral sweetness now white florals are generally not supposed to be sweet but the way this white, these white florals in here, the jasmine, the rose and everything, the way they have been blended beautifully well with the vanilla, with the muskiness in this fragrance, it just is sweet. This is a floral magic, you guys. This is absolutely a floral magic, can definitely be a very, very good office scent as in this is definitely a crowd pleaser it is inoffensive to note people love smelling this fragrance on you trust me no one is going to get offended in closed uh, confined spaces this is not going to scream out this is not going to you know project uh, so much so that you know people are going to get offended absolutely not this is 
a beautiful fragrance that is going to create a beautiful cloud around you that everyone including you is gonna enjoy now that is the projection of this fragrance for about you know two hours or so it definitely has a very good cloud around you and then it settles down very close to your skin it is not a skin scent this fragrance is not a skin scent at least not for good seven hours that's the kind of projection that it has for about the first two hours it's kind of moderate and then it's from moderate to low but definitely not a skin scent people coming close to you can definitely smell you the longevity of this fragrance on my skin it has been for about good seven to eight hours i have heard it my friend did tell me that you know on her skin it was definitely over 10 hours so yes i have definitely heard great things about the performance bit of this fragrance it is not going to disappoint you performance should be the least of your concerns with this fragrance the scent itself it's so gorgeous you know all the boxes of this fragrance you know the scent check the longevity seven hours plus check the projection check the sillage good for about two hours it leaves a beautiful trail check and after that it kind of you know mellows down and you know it doesn't leave a trail per se but yes there is a very you know in the wind okay it's there in the wind for people to smell but not so much but it's absolutely fine the way you are going to enjoy this fragrance Trust me, it doesn't really, really matter if, you know, everyone around you can, you know, get a trail or not because the projection itself when someone comes close to you, it is definitely going to create that magic for you. This screams sophistication, luxury, richness and class. Now, this summer, I can definitely see this being one of my dumb reach, uh, you know, when I'm not sure about the fragrances that I have to wear to work or even for a day outing with my work, uh, you know, with my colleagues or even with my friends, I definitely will reach out to this fragrance a lot now this is very simple fragrance it's not something which is very complicated which you know when someone smells they're like okay I don't know what I'm smelling this is very simple you know they have kept it simple for a reason guys now your fragrance does not always have to be complicated your fragrance does not really have to leave people confused all the time asking you know what is it okay at times fragrances are just meant to be appreciated as to it's a beautiful floral it's a white floral it's clean it's sophisticated what more could you ask for? You definitely cannot go wrong with this fragrance. This is definitely a crowd pleaser. I love this fragrance. I definitely am going to use this fragrance a lot this summer. And yes, this can definitely be a staple in your collection, you guys. My sweethearts, my darlings, my beautiful, gorgeous women out there, this definitely can be a staple in your collection if white florals are your jam. And to all the men out there, if you're looking for a fragrance to gift your woman or your girl this summer, this definitely can be it. Look at the bottle itself. It's so feminine. It's so sleek. I can just hold it. You know, my hands are too small. So is the fragrance. I love it. It's just 100 ml, but you know, this 100 ml has been packed so beautifully well in this sleek looking bottle that I love the bottle. I love the juice and this is definitely a super, super hit for me. And if you like the review of this fragrance, you guys, please do go ahead, like, share, comment down in the comment section below if you have used this fragrance. What are your thoughts about it? Is this a staple in your fragrance collection? Do you reach out for this fragrance often? And even if you dislike this fragrance, if you have used it a lot and now you know you're bored of it, give a gap and use it. And if you're unsure, now this is a little bit of an expensive fragrance from the House of Chanel. So if you're unsure, guys, do go ahead, try out a sample or a decant. You know, you can try it out from your retailer or your discounter. And only after you like it 
go for it. This is definitely not going to disappoint you. I will see you soon with a new video. Till then, subscribe to this channel so when I come with exciting videos, you never miss out on it. And I am super, super excited to meet you guys really soon. You take care of yourself and stay happy and smell incredible while you do. Love you, my darling.